Capricorn, hello, welcome back or welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Jazz and this is a general tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash your like button or leave a comment down below just like this to make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Let's take a look at this energy for spirit. For Capricorn, what messages need to come through for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Thank you. Change. Your love has transformed me. I am changed forever. I feel like you guys are coming into... A transformative energy of love this is a transformed love this is a transformed situation this could be new or this could be something that you're already dealing with casual sex let's be friends with benefits and leave emotions out of it show us more here for Capricorn free spirit mmm I regret the things I've done. I, sh I regret the things I should have done but never did. Regrets. Casual sex. I feel like there's this energy of somebody regretting treating the relationship in the sense of a, a casual sex type of type of scenario, type of situation. There's this, there's this energy of, you know, kind of thinking back on the past. You guys have obsession with new perspective and nostalgia. There's this energy of thinking back on the past of the connection, of the relationship, of the times that you guys spent with each other and how they, this person was very emotional about you or is very emotional about you here, Capricorn. But they may have treated the situation very casually. They may have treated this like, you know, you and you and them weren't anything or you and them were just kind of friends with benefits, you know, just kind of casually having sex. This person never really made the effort. And I feel like they're they're looking back and they're thinking on this because you do have the energy of nostalgia and it's it's a new perspective on the way the connection may have could have been. Um, yeah, I feel like this person wants to open up. I feel like somebody wants to make the effort in, re in regards to something here. Let's get one or two more. For Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I feel like somebody wants to transform or change the situation that was into something else. Ego. I lost myself while trying to save my ego. Yeah. This person was acting from a place of ego, right? They weren't really expressing or showing their true self. Bottom of the deck here is jealousy, the other, and communication. This person was jealous. This person thought that you had other people. It's interesting because you have a snake here and a snake on this ego energy. This person may have treated the connection like it was casual sex because they may have thought you had other options and you were treating them like that. They may have thought that you were doing other things or talking to other people or didn't want to take the connection seriously. Jealousy, the, jealousy even talks about them thinking there's somebody else in your life. Detached. I emotionally closed off so I don't feel my past wounds. Yeah, so this person closed themselves off completely. Detached from the situation. Treated the situation that that is at hand as a casual sex type of thing. Or even made that front about it. When really there was more to it. Let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper here and see what wants to come through. Show us more about this energy here, please, Spirit. Show us more about this energy here, please, Spirit. 
for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energy or person that they're dealing with, please. The Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Wands. Whoa. King of Cups, Eight of Swords, Temperance energy. I definitely feel like this person wants to change the dynamic of the situation, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like wanting to change the course, the direction of the connection. Hold on one second. Wanting to get ahead, seeing this as being successful. This person could even just want it to win at all costs here. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning. They want a new start. I feel like this person puts you up on a pedestal in their head. They want to change the course of direction, change the nature of the, the connection or of the situation. Wanting to plant a new seed, wanting to offer up a new opportunity. This is a physical opportunity. This is something that's tangible, something that you can touch and hold. You know, it's, it's, it's unlike anything else. It's unlike anything else. Wanting to have a fresh brand new start, right? They've put a lot of thought into this, yeah. This person is deep, very deep into thought with this. You know, they've they've dug deep, they've gone within their soul, and this is this is a soul clenching move that this person wants to make, right? Seeing a new opportunity in love, seeing this as being successful, seeing this as being a part of their future, right? They see happiness, they see, they see joy, they see power in this energy, and they see this with you. There's a lot of regrets. This person regrets a lot of things here. Show us more for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Actually, they're telling me to clarify, so let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and do the clear. Let's clarify. Let's use... Mm, What deck do we want to use, you guys? Tell us more about the energy of the Wheel of Fortune here as it relates to the energy connecting to Capricorn in this situation. Tell us more about the Wheel of Fortune here for the energy connecting to Capricorn in this situation, please, Spirit. Show us more here about this energy connecting to Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands. Yeah, this person, they, they, they want to spark a new beginning. They want to spark something into existence. They want to change the course and direction. Like They want to offer up something new, a new perspective, a new idea. Queen of Swords, yeah, they want to talk about this. They want to lay everything out on the table. They want openness. They want honesty. They want a conversation here. They want a conversation. You know, and this person is willing to make the effort to make this conversation happen. You know, this person wants to put everything out there. They don't want to hide anything. You know, they they, they really don't want an argument either. They just want things to be very clear. They, they're putting it up on the wall. Yeah, the Empress. This is about birthing something new into existence, right? They want to change the course and direction of the, of the situation, of the relationship, of the connection here. Tell us about the Six of Wands. 
as it relates to this energy that's connecting to Capricorn. Tell us about this energy of the Six of Wands. Tell us about the Six of Wands here, please, for Capricorn. You know, this person is coming in quite confidently. You know, they, they're making their mark. They're headed. They've got, they've got their target on eye here. You have the Three of Cups and you have the Justice energy here. So this is a sense of um, abundance. This is a blessing here. This person wants to bring forth some sort of a, you know, divine blessing, divine balanced uh, blessing. This is also like karma or a contract here. This person wants there to be a sense of, you know, happiness, balance, love that comes into the situation or, or that comes from this new opportunity here with the two of you. I do feel like this person is making some sort of an effort. Maybe this person wants to offer you to go out on some sort of a date. They they want to put in some sort of some sort of effort here in regards to the situation. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor's strain. Six of Pentacles. They they realize how deserving you are. Tell us about this Ace of Pentacles here as it relates to the energy connected to Capricorn. Sun, the Rising Venus, and Jupiter, please. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles here, please. Yeah, there's a solid, stable opportunity that this person wants to come forward with. And this person regrets coming from ego, being so detached, you know, all of these different things. This person wants to come forward. There's an energy of making some sort of an effort coming with a stable opportunity here. This is this is new. This is fresh. You know, this is abundant. There's a blessing that comes from this as well. This person is very sure of themselves. This is something that they've manifested into existence as well as you, Capricorn. Okay? You've done the same. Let's go a little deeper here. Show us more for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter as it relates to this energy, please, Spirit. Show us more for Capricorn, some of the energy from Jupiter, as well as this energy, please, Spirit. So tell me and pull romance angels, so we will. What do you need to let go of here, though, Capricorn? What needs to be let go of? What needs to be disconnected or unplugged from your life? What no longer serves you? What do you no longer need? Physically, mentally, emotionally. What's holding you down? What's bogging you down? What's making you feel like you're not good enough? New love and passion. Wow. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There seems to be a brand new love interest that wants to come into your life. Brand new. This person's not attached to this this other energy this person is not attached to you know the past i do feel like this is somebody new i feel like this is somebody that you're going to get to know and i feel like this is somebody that's been put on your path for a reason forgiving and learning yes as you release and heal your past you experience more love in your present moments and i feel like this has a lot to do with the connection that you're already kind of dealing with over here There's a need to give this relationship a chance, this new energy, a chance. And there's there's a need to release yourself from something that isn't serving you. Right? If it doesn't serve you, let it go. It's okay. If it's not working, let it go. It's okay. Two of Pentacles. 
I feel like there's something that comes into alignment. I feel like you and this person are aligning with one another. Ace of Wands. Tell us more here about this new energy. The Hangman, Four of Swords. There's this energy of seeing things from another perspective, being seen from a fresh point of view. You and this person are aligned in a way that you may have never thought. This person may blow your mind, to be honest with you. It's very mind boggling. Could be like an opposites attracts type types of energy. Seven of Wands. Helping you see things from another point of view. Helping you see things from the other side. Knight of Swords, the Emperor, the Tower. There's a conversation that's coming in that... <sighs> it sparks a new beginning. Let's, let's, go, let's go deeper here. person wants you to open up to them be open to to this to this new idea to this new idea of a connection or of relationships or a relationship here tell us about the two of pentacles this new love new love interest six of cups eight of cups leads you to the two of cups this love feels very familiar it's almost as if this is like a kashic record energy it's like you walked out of one door and into another it's almost like you guys feel like you're picking up where you left off from another lifetime it's it's a sense of alignment it's really nice you feel aligned with one another even though it's new even though you know you guys are kind of cultivating this relationship and cultivating this love it's almost like you're you already know each other. There's this spark. There's this passion that it's unlike anything else. Six of Pentacles, yeah. You guys share a lot with one another. And it's it's very different than, you know, connections that you've had before. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's almost like a love at first sight. Type of energy but it's third eyesight love at first third eyesight it's complicated it's complex it's interesting knight of pentacles this person's invested and they want to invest in you. They want to protect this connection by investing in you. And vice versa. I feel like you both want to. Sorry, Capricorn. Oh my God, that's a shirt. There's definitely two different scenarios going on here. And at the end of the day, something has to end. There has to be an ending for there to be a new beginning, and I feel like there's an ending here. You have a choice. There's something that's very casual, and there's something that comes along that is very serious right out, right out the gate. Tell us more about this passion and new love energy. Tell us about this new love that comes in. Number eight, Libra. This person is hyper-focused. It's blinders energy. I feel like this person has tunnel vision towards you. They're very much focused on you. 
Tell us about this energy of new love. This person is very concentrated. You have the inventor and in fine print. This is so interesting with blinders. This person is very focused on the details of the situation and the details of you. They may be a Libra, a Virgo, or a Leo. They pay very close attention to detail. This person is very focused. This person may even be, they're brilliant. You may meet this person within a few weeks. The situation or event in question will develop or unfold in a matter of weeks. Yeah, you definitely will meet this person within a few weeks if you don't already know this person. I would say no more than four. I do feel like this person is... intelligent they may be an inventor or a creator of some sort and then you have the balloons number two and number three so you have seven and eight you have two eights a seven two threes and a two and the balloons is capricorn energy it's the energy of ascension high vibe attaining goals being stress-free letting it go and then you have the number three it's a yes no card and it's very likely at this time the situation or outcome is likely to occur within the next few weeks keep your eye out and with the knight of pentacles here as well this person is very intelligent very smart very interesting I don't know. That's definitely for somebody. Let's get a closing message here. Let's get a closing message here for Capricorn summarizing Venus and Jupiter, please, spirit. Let's get a closing message here for the reading. Closing message here for the reading, please. Wow. The fates with Treasure Island. Bottom of the deck is clean it up. There's a faded event that's coming into your life here, Capricorn. And I feel like this faded event comes when you clean up and let go of the crap that's in your life that no longer serves you, that no longer belongs, okay? I'm going to leave this here. I love you. I appreciate you so much, and I'll speak to you all very soon.